welcome back to another episode ladies and gentlemen today's objective is pretty short we're gonna try to swing a rope on the mare since she's never had that done and then my runaway horse right here we're gonna take smoke and let maddie rope off of him give her some time in the saddle swinging a rope and see if we can't turn her into a team roper yet We are gonna do a few things today. Uh, one is swing the rope off of the mare. It's good to just get her desensitized. We're gonna try. It's good to get her desensitized to some of this stuff and you know, just in case. And you know, desensitize your horses with different things is always a good thing. So we're gonna swing the rope off of her, swing it around her, make sure she's nice and comfortable with it. Hopefully if all goes as planned. And then Maddie wants to start doing a little bit of team roping potentially. So we're gonna put her on smoke and let her swing the rope and, and, and try to rope the dummy and see if we can't get her started. Like I said in a previous video, he's the best teacher, hands down. So he's gonna teach me how to heal and he's so broke that you can just about do anything on him and he'll be just fine. So he's kind of the perfect one to, to start out on. For anybody that's interested in team roping, Definitely get you a flat broke, just broke, broke horse to learn how to rope on. There's nothing harder than having a green horse who's as green as you are roping and trying to learn how to swing a rope, learn how to ride a horse well. It just, it never works out. So get you a flat broke, can do, you know, just about anything, bomb proof horse. Get on them and then learn how to rope. It'll be much easier. It'll be much easier and your progress will be much, much better. So basically, don't learn how to rope on a horse like Leah, which we're gonna try. Yeah, we're just gonna swing a rope on her. We're not necessarily gonna rope, cause she can't, she, she has a hard enough time just dealing with looking at cows, much less roping them. So <laughs> it'll just be fun for her to be something a little bit different. And me. And Maddie. Part of what we were doing right there is just to get some of the fresh off these horses. If you watch the last vlog, you'll see that we ponied them around behind the gator. And that's just simply because we don't have a hot walker or anything like that. And we wanted to get them some exercise without having to saddle up and you know do the whole do the whole deal. So we just wanted to get a little bit of the fresh off of them so that they were using the thinking side of their brain when we go to do some roping on them. That's basically it. Just get them a little bit of exercise and now we get to do the fun stuff. So every once in a while we get the question, how do I start team roping? And there's a few different ways that you can go about this. The first is to find somebody in your local area that you can become friends with and they can teach you. Uh, the second is there's a bunch of online sources. My favorite online source is xfactorroping.com. They've got a ton of uh, instructional videos that you can take a look and kind of get used to everything and get used to the terminology. And, and they've got really, really good instructors on there that are more than willing to help you. Third, you can go to some clinics. And clinics are a good way to go. Whoever's putting on the clinic is probably a pro and they know exactly what they're talking about and they're really, really good teachers. 
If they're not good teachers, they're probably not doing it. So I would recommend going to a clinic just to see, just to kind of get your feet wet, make sure it's something you want to do, and they can really, really help you out. Also, if you have any questions about team roping or how to get started or really anything that relates to team roping or horses, let us know in the comments or shoot me a message at the Red and the Roan on Instagram and I'll be more than happy to help for sure. We love seeing new people get into the sport and it's a fast growing sport. So anything I can do to help, I'm always here. I'll tell you what, not bad for a dressage horse and someone who's never roped. Put those two together and actually worked out really well for day one. So just to give you a little bit of perspective on how cool that last scene was, this mare has been in a dressage training program her entire life and that was the first time she's ever had any rope swung off of her anything swung onto a dummy and the fact that she did it in the first time pretty cool size difference. Now something we haven't ever really talked about is the rope is supposed to go on the left side of the knot and then when it gets back here, okay, when it gets back here you actually turn it. Okay, no, put your hand on top. There. Okay, see the rope goes um, on the left side, but not, yeah, but as it goes towards the back, towards your hand, it spins, okay? Okay, now walk right up here a little bit. Right there, right there, right there. Oh. bad for her first lesson caught yeah. once yeah she caught once and uh it is very difficult to rope it on a horse when all you've been doing is roping on the ground so that was a great first lesson and we'll try again next time for sure trusty steed always snacking thank you guys so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and if you feel so inclined tell your friends tell your family have them subscribe we love it we love bringing you these videos um, it's something I enjoy doing at night when we're winding down so thank you so much for the support and uh, we'll see y'all next time